Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Let's talk about five must-have guinea pig items. If you're new to the channel, I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and over the years, people have come in and they've asked me all sorts of questions about how to take care of your piggies, so I started this channel to try to help them and try to help the world uh, make a better life for their piggies. Now, when we're talking guinea pig items, of course, there's so many things out there, and to be honest, a lot of the things are actually marketed to people and not to guinea pigs, and it's not always the best thing. They sort of will advertise or, or market in such a way you're th with bright colors and cute pictures, and you think, oh, well, that's great, but it's not necessarily the best for your piggies. But today, we're going to talk about five items that are definitely a must-have in your cage or in your emergency kit. Now, speaking of emergency kit, Skinny Pigs 1 was kind enough to let me put their emergency kit video on my website. So after this is over, uh, I'll put a link down there and you can head over to my website and check out that video and start thinking about building your emergency kit. Okay, but let's talk about five items that are really important to have. And these are not in any specific order. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a sixth bonus item that is really important to have, and it's under $5. In fact, it's under $4 right now, maybe even close to $3. So we'll talk about that item in a minute. But let's go to number one. Number one is syringes. Now, I'm talking about plastic oral syringes, one milliliter in size. Now these syringes, I'll put a picture of them up right here. These are the syringes that you would use to feed vitamin C. These are the things that you would use to feed uh, any kind of medication that you've been prescribed by the vet. There's a million uses for them. If your guinea pig is dehydrated, you can feed them water through these syringes. They're just really great and it's really important to have some on hand. Now they don't last forever. Sometimes they will get stuck They'll get sticky, they'll get gross, they'll get chewed up. Um, and sometimes the rubber in the inside of the syringe wears out. So it's a really good idea to have a few extra. Now, of course, when you get prescribed medicine, the vet will usually give you some syringes, but I've found that it's important to have a nice bag full because you never know when you're gonna need a new syringe. So that's number one, syringes. I prefer the one milliliter kind but actually on my website, I also think I have links to the three milliliter, maybe even some five milliliters. But I prefer, and at the guinea pig rescue, we mostly use the one milliliter. We go through them like crazy. Okay, let's talk about number two. Number two is not an item for your emergency kit, but number two is something that goes in your cage. Now you can see right here, there's one. Nope, that's Billy. He's behind it. It's the snack shack here is another snack shack. Now, what I love about the snack shack is it is really a glorified hay rack, but it's also a tunnel, okay? And what I love about it is that you can stuff the hay in the top, you can stuff the hay in the middle, you could pour pellets in after you've stuffed it with hay. It's a really great food and hay holder. So it's just really an awesome, versatile thing. Yes, it's edible, but um, it is made of honey and alfalfa and things, which alfalfa is okay, but if your guinea pig is really eating it, come here, Nate. No chewing when I'm doing recordings. I know. You're just going to have to sit with me then. If your guinea pig's chewing the snack shack uh, and actually really consuming it, then you need to figure out what else is going on. Because if it's stuffed with hay, they're more likely to eat the hay. Because remember, hay is 80% of their diet. So that's really important that they're not eating the snack shack, although it is edible, okay? Um, but it's really great for them to stretch their backs when they reach up to grab the hay out of the top. And it's just a lot of fun. They tunnel through as they chew, and when it's empty, they can use it as a tunnel but I always like to try to keep it as full as I can. When they empty it out, I stuff it full of more hay. Don't be mad, because you were the one that was making noise. Okay, so let's talk about number three. 
Number three is actually something that goes in your emergency kit, okay? Number three is teramycin ointment. It's an antibiotic ointment, but uh, it's something that anybody can get. You can get it on Amazon. It's really easy to get. It's not that expensive, but it can save your piggy. We use this stuff at the rescue for a lot of things. You can use it for bites and cuts and scratches, but when guinea pigs come in with an eye injury, mostly it's a hay poke. Now we're talking about 80% of a guinea pig's diet is hay, and guinea pigs love to run in hay, they love to hide in hay, they love to just immerse themselves in the hay pile. And when they do that, sometimes they get a hay poke. Sometimes they'll get a scratch in their eye. Sometimes the hay will actually stick into their eye, or it will poke their eye and, and cause what seems to be a really nasty um, injury. People come in all the time, their guinea pig's eyes are uh, bulging out and red. Sometimes what happens, uh, frequently what happens is it will get cloudy. The eye will cloud over. Now, this is different from a cataract. When you look at a cataract, am I saying that right? Cataracts? Cataract? When you, when you see that on your piggy's eyes, that's usually the lens itself or the outer covering of the eye is clear, but the inside, the lens, I guess, part is the part that has become cloudy. So, but with a hay poke, the exterior of the eye becomes cloudy. I think I got a whisker in my eye. So the teramycin, you just scoop a, a glob of it and put it right in the eye. It sounds like that might be uncomfortable, but trust me, a hay poke in the eye and a scratch on the eye, a cornea, that's what it is, a scratch on the cornea is very painful for them. So the, what the teramycin does, it's an antibiotic ointment and it gets them on their way to healing. Now, lots of people uh, message me about this and I recommend it. So if you're one of those people in the comments, maybe uh, put your success story with use of teramycin for an, a hay poke. Um, Cause I, I get emails about that all the time. By the way, if you want to email me, message me, um, you know, it's really great to message in the comments so that everyone can hear your question and, and participate and, and also help you answer. Um, but if you want to reach out and message me, there's a contact form on my website, Scotty's Animals. So the teramycin is something that's really great to have in your emergency kit. You never know when your piggy is going to get an eye injury and it's fairly common. So it's definitely something to have in your back pocket. Okay, let's move on to number four. And these are in no particular order, but number four, something that is a guinea pig must have item is CNC grids. As you can see, I'm surrounded by CNC grids. Now, even if you have a Midwest cage or some other type of cage, uh, CNC grids are wonderful to have. Now, I recommend the CNC cages because they are uh, roomy, you can expand them to any shape, size, dimension you want, and they're really easy to snap together. I like to use the zip ties, I don't bother with the connectors even. I find that it's much sturdier to just zip tie them tight together, so that's something to think about. And I have a video about how to make CNC cages, so I'll put that in the info card. Okay, I'll put that there. But CNC grids are also really great for making uh, a floor time play pen, you know, or a two by two, or sorry, a two by, uh, yeah, two by two or a one by two makes an excellent carrier also. Billy. Now Billy's, now Billy's getting crazy. Billy, we're trying to record real quick, okay? Don't harass them. Don't harass them, please. Okay, I'm gonna put you down. Billy, get over here. If, if you boys are gonna be loud, then you have to be part of the video. So the CNC grids are really versatile. You can use them for so many different things and they're not expensive. So it's really great to have a pack of CNC grids. All right, let's talk about the fifth must-have guinea pig item. Now we're talking about this thing. That is the Tropical Fiddlesticks Tunnel. 
Now this thing is really awesome because it's a tunnel and it's a hidey house, okay? It has an entrance and an exit because it's a tunnel, so that means that it's less likely that two pigs are gonna get in there and get stuck, one of them's gonna feel cornered. I really love them. What also is great is they come flat and you can bend them in this arch shape, but you can bend them to be higher or lower. Sometimes I like to have them kind of be uh, flat on top. And you'll find that some piggies like to hop up on top of it and use it as a perch. So they're really fun, they're really great, they're really inexpensive, and they last a while. And also you'll notice uh, they're made out of pine and it's a natural coloring here, so they are 100% uh, chewable but again like with the snack shack if your guinea pigs are eating this thing if they're eating this and not their hay then you got to look into what's going on because really 80% of 80% of their diet should be hay there was a helicopter that just flew over I don't know if you guys could hear it probably not but we heard it didn't we hear it so the Fiddlesticks Tunnel is really great. Let's just recap the five things. Syringes was one, the Snack Shack was the second thing, the Terramycin was the third thing, the CNC Grids was the fourth thing, and the Fiddlesticks Tunnel was the fifth thing. Now, there's so many other items that you know are important for you to have for your piggies, and I've got a lot of them listed on my website but I wanted to pick five items. But since you guys have stuck around to the end, let's talk about the bonus sixth item. And I promised it would be under $5. The bonus sixth item is the Lixit bottle brush. The Lick Now, whether you use a glass water bottle or a plastic water bottle, it is very important that you're cleaning these bottles every once in a while. Now, I like to clean them every few times that I fill it up. Now basically, who's chewing? <laughs> I look at the, the water bottle itself and I say, how clean is it? I smell it. It's very important to smell the inside there, smell the cap, because um, sometimes algae can grow depending on where it is, or the, the somehow their backwash ends up going back into the water bottle and settling at the bottom. So it's very important that you use that, use some kind of a water bottle brush. And what I love about the Lixit one is, first of all, it's it's less than $4, and it has uh, the bottle part, and then in the handle itself, I'll show you a picture of it right here, and I have done a specific video about it, but in the handle, there's also a brush for the spout. So it pops off, and you can clean the spout out, which is really important, because even if you're cleaning the bottle, you know, the water siphons through the spout. And if the spout is dirty, then they're gonna get dirty water. So, it's very important that you have a clean bottle. Let's also talk real quick about something that you shouldn't get. You should never put vitamin C in the water. And so those Vita drops that uh, they sell, skip those because you can't tell how much Wa uh, how much water they drink and it's based on an average of how much vitamin how much water they drink which is how much vitamin C it's a concentrated formula we recommend child life liquid vitamin C uh, and if you want to use that you give it to them with an oral syringe so again having the syringes is always important so there you go that's five must have guinea pig items and one bonus item and then also a suggestion on something not to get. <laughs> Billy. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't look at me! Don't look at me!